everybody, I am awake and I'm craving in and out and it's the morning. I just had some oatmeal but I'm still craving in and out. I haven't had in and out in like a month and I just saw someone, I hate pictures on Instagram. I just saw someone post a picture of, it, of in and out and it worked. I like, oh my God, I want in and out now. So marketing works on me. Marketing works really hard on me. I'm gonna make myself a little protein stuff before I can work out, go to the gym. Today's gonna be a really busy day of doing my taxes. <laughs> That's like my goal. Uh, you guys are probably gonna watch me do a time lapse of doing my taxes. It's cool being a YouTuber and working for yourself, but it also sucks because you have to like gather all these like receipts and stuff and all this other stuff. So I'll bring you guys along with me. Finish my workout. Let's go home now. Guys, good news. Roy's coming back Thursday, so it's Monday today. So we've made it basically until when he gets back. Hopefully. I still got like three more days of working out, but we pretty much made it. And then it's gonna be really strict and it's gonna be intense, but it's gonna be good. It's gonna be different. <laughs> In and out is so dangerous. Look at it. Look at it. I'm just in the middle of the street. Look at it. Look at it. I have to be in the middle of the street because the line's so crazy. And okay, finally, I'm safe now. I'm safe. I'm safe. Oh god. Okay, but I was in the middle of the street. See behind me right there? Oh my gosh, this in and out's scary because it's like only drive throughs. So I was like in the middle of the street. If you guys don't have in and out where you're at in whatever part of America or the world you're at, um, they, their drive through lines are usually crazy long and this one is really close to the street You can see the streets right here, right? So this was I was actually sitting like in the middle of the street and Like I couldn't do anything about it because all these people were here, but now I'm gonna get some in and out um, Cutting it kind of close before dance class. I really this is my only time to get in and out because one Roy doesn't like in and out and two we're going on like a major diet starting like Thursday So I need to eat as much crap as I can like a lot and I'm really excited I'm gonna get a ton of food. Okay, I'm just gonna get some food, not too much, but anyways. I also forgot, this is the in and out where it's really awkward, like usually when you go to a drive-through of some sort in America, um, you pay this way, you give them the money, you talk to them, hey sir, hi, nice to meet you, blah, blah. But here in this one. Right there, see how he's going through that weird window right there? It's on this side. So I'm gonna be like, hey sir, there you go. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank Have you. You too. Oh gosh. New plan. I had my time off. I thought I had enough time to go home and eat, but I'm not gonna have enough time to eat before and like go home and eat and then go to dance class. I have to go straight from the in and out parking lot to dance class. So I might throw up in dance class today, but look at my food. Ooh, cheesy. Two patties, fries. Oh my gosh, if you guys have never had in and out you're missing out. And uh, <laughs> it's really good. I I'm gonna put the camera here. I wanna feel like a food blogger today. Oh my god, this is what the food bloggers to do. Okay, a review. Ta -na -na, ta -na -na. Okay, so this is what like food bloggers do, right? They put the camera right there and then they like get some ketchup. And they just like they, like put it on. Oh yeah. Delicious. Actually I don't I don't know how to do this. This is kinda weird. <laughs> I could vlog, but oh Okay, cool. Eating in your car is like messy. You know? I feel like, mmm, these fries are so, mmm, so fresh. Actually, in and out if you guys never been, you can watch while you're at the drive-thru or even when you're at the restaurant, there's people like cutting the fries in this like fry cutter thing that looks like a torture device. It's pretty cool. You guys hear that crunch, right? Delicious. Mm. I missed you, I'm gonna miss you. Oh, man. One time, when I moved to my new house in Stockton, I got in and out for like a whole week straight because my house is right next to an in and out, so I got in and out like every single day. It was crazy. Guys, take a bite of this burger. All right, you can see. Mm -hmm. We got some lettuce. We got some everything in this, double-double. I like to add ketchup to my burgers. That's just my preference, you don't have to do that, but. 
so good. A lot of secret menu things in and out that people really don't know about. Like, I didn't get it today, but sometimes I get what's called animal style fries. It's not really secret anymore, but for those of you who don't know, animal style fries is like the, the Thousand Island dressing they use on their burgers. They put that on that with cheese and grilled onions. It's really good, and you can also get it on your burger. You can also get a protein style burger where it's just lettuce. But I'm gonna eat this because I gotta get to dance class, so. All right, guys, we're ending my dance class. Hope I don't get a cramp and die today. Oh my gosh. Uh. Oh, sorry, is there a line? Yes, sir. Pardon me? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> yes. When I get home, it's really hot. The next class is over. Yeah. Wow, that was a great class. It was a lot of fun. Um, he brought back some stuff we learned from last week. So I got to keep practicing that and trying that more. And there's like a ton more people today. And I came late because I was eating in and out, which was not a great idea because I felt really full the whole time. I'm trying to cross the street, but there's like a lot of cars coming, so I'm just gonna walk this way and pretend like I wasn't gonna cross the street so I don't cause any confusion. <sighs> As you can tell, I had a lot of fun. Wow, you know, I'm, I wanna talk a quick second about resistance really fast because resistance will cause you to do things that you don't wanna do a lot of the times, like it feeds on your fear. A lot of like resistance I did have today, um, like I was when I, on my way, I was like, oh no, I'm gonna be late. That was a form of resistance, like I was making an excuse to not come, like, oh, I shouldn't go, because I'm just gonna be late and I'm just gonna lose money. Um, and then I was like, oh no, I ate in and now I'm gonna be too full. Um, and that was like another thing, but I, all, I knew in the back of my head that was just me resisting going to dance class because I didn't want to make myself better. I don't, you know, so I just overcame that and I was like, I gotta get to dance class. Now, after I'm done with dance class, I feel amazing and I'm so happy I went. So, guys, if there's anything in life that really scares you, like I'm not gonna lie, every time I go to dance class, every time I go to acting class, those are the most scariest classes, things I have to do every day. Vlogging is easy, I can vlog all day, right? I'm not scared of it anymore. I kind of was before, but I'm not. But the thing is, you gotta just use your fears and make it your motivation and use it against itself because it just becomes better. Like after my acting classes, those are the days where I feel like the best days ever. After my dance class, those are the days I feel so good too. Because it's just you facing your fears. Try to do that, 2016. Damn, Riku. Damn, Riku. <laughs> hey guys, um, see the shoe box right here? I don't know if you guys can see me. I gotta make sure you guys can see me. This shoe box right here, it's filled with like tons of receipts and stuff like from all last year. So I have to do my taxes like legit this time, not TurboTax. The past two years I've been doing like, usually I've been doing like TurboTax and you just like enter it in as a student and stuff. This time I have to like do it by hand, go to an accountant, so I don't really know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna put this on time lapse and <laughs> wish me luck. Oh yeah, I also made spaghetti, but I didn't vlog myself making it because you guys have seen me make it a few times in other vlogs, so I didn't really vlog myself making it, but I made it from scratch. It's simmering over there right now, and I'm gonna be eating it in like a little bit. Alright guys, I made some homemade pasta sauce right here. Meat sauce, um, half ground beef, half spicy Italian sausage. I really like to do that combo. And this is what it looks like. Yummy. It's not spaghetti. I just found some shells in the pantry and I wanted to save money so I used the shells instead of getting pasta, spaghetti pasta. I love spaghetti pasta but really soon I have my own spaghetti maker now or like pasta molder thing so I want to do like a tutorial on my channel. I think I'm going to do that soon but I'm going to eat right now. Watch some Adventure Time on my tax break. Oh, taxes are actually okay. Being adults, okay. It's just the whole doing it part is like the difficult one. I'm not used to eating shells, but I think I want to put it in this bowl because I feel like shells are just meant to be eaten in a bowl. I really like not eating in bowls, but yeah. Oh. Okay, there goes that part. Oh wow, what a fail. Oh gosh. What would only make this more perfect is if I had Parmesan cheese or some basil. Wow, oh my gosh. All right guys, it has been like, 
I'm gonna say I started at 10 or 11, nine, I don't remember. Nine, 10, 11, 12, one, two. I've done this for like five to six hours now. It's 3 a.m. right now, if you guys can't see. You guys don't believe me. Look at the top right there. 3.05, 3.05, 3.05 a.m. and I somewhat have it organized now. Um, the last thing I'm gonna do before I actually start editing is I'm gonna add up my how much money gas costs this whole year and write that down. And then I'm gonna edit this video and then go to bed. I don't know what the time that's gonna be, but good night guys, thank you so much for watching, peace.